Yeah. The Eagles and Giants are now both three and three. So the Cowboys are a half game behind them at two and three, and the Redskins are just one game back. Now, according to the Football Power Index, the Eagles are the favorites to win the NFC at almost 65 percent, followed by the Cowboys at just under 19 percent. Skip, has Philly now taken control of the NFC East? Absolutely not. And again, I'm coming at it from the Cowboys' perspective. That was a huge night last night for the Dallas Cowboys. Obviously, the Giants don't separate. I'm not impressed with either team. And Dallas got to put one more game in the bank because Dallas is only treading water, obviously, trying to stay afloat until A, Des Bryant gets healthy, which could happen sooner than later, and B, Tony Romo gets healthy, which is November 22nd at Miami. Mm -hmm. So I look at the Cowboys schedule. They obviously, this Sunday, go visit those Giants, yeah. who suddenly look a little more vincible than, than they looked invincible going in. So all of a sudden, I'm thinking, I, I might have a shot on Sunday at the Giants because my team, the Cowboys, plays better on the road. Matt Castle is the new quarterback. Jerry Jones obviously is now driving his bandwagon after he drove Brandon Whedon's and Jerry Jones is saying, look, Matt, I'm paraphrasing, but Jerry Jones is saying Matt Castle is a veteran who, who has had experience in stepping into the pocket, stepping up in the pocket mm -hmm. and stepping into throws and taking some chances that Brandon Whedon would never take. I'm, I'm on board with Jerry there. I think Matt Castle will be way better than Brandon Whedon was. Just stay off the Whedon mm -hmm. is my, my new motto for this show. Okay? <laughs> so I was wrong about Brandon Whedon and maybe I'm overreacting to what Matt Castle can do, but he will give my team a little, if not a lot better chance of winning at the Giants. Then my team come home, comes home for Seattle and the Eagles. Well, Seattle looks a little more vincible than invincible at this point. And the Eagles, as I just told you, I'm not sold on because of Sam Badford. So I'm looking at these games as, hey, maybe if, if my Cowboys could now win a couple and put mm -hmm. them in the bank, and as Dez gets held, I don't know when he's going to come back, but obviously Cowboys are going to come off a bye. Obviously, Randy Gregory, the, the kid, the, the stud rusher coming yep. off the edge, is probably going to be healthy. I'm, I'm hoping for the Giants. And we saw what all of a sudden Greg Hardy, Rolando McClain, could do for that defense against Tom Brady in the first half. So I'm saying if my team had been healthy from the start, they would have run away with this division. That's how much better Dallas is when healthy than the Eagles, Giants, or Redskins. Way better. That's why I picked them this year to go to the Super Bowl. So I, I still like my pick. I don't love my team's chances because obviously if you take the quarterback and the best receiver in football away, it's going to be an issue. Well, how quickly will they come back? If they come back full speed and healthy and stay healthy, you're in trouble. Well, forgive me, I'm confused because I understand where you're coming from when you talk about what the Cowboys will do if they're healthy. But they're not healthy as of yet. And yet you highlight how the Eagles, even though they haven't been that impressive, because of the Dallas Cowboys injuries, the, the, the division is up for grabs. So I, I'm trying to figure out exactly what is it that you're saying based on the Cowboys and how they look with their injuries. Are you saying that they're not going to do anything if Tony Romo and Dez I'm Bryant I'm saying off what I saw last night, even without Dez or without Romo, I like my chances way more at Giants and against Eagles at Jerry World than I did before last night's game. Last night's game showed me next to nothing about either of mm -hmm. these teams. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, my opinion is that I think you're drinking entirely too much Diet Mountain Dew because mm -hmm. whether it's weed, I love weed, Diet Dew. Whether, wait, I love <laughs> Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. But whether it's weed in mm -hmm. or Matt Castle, in the end, what it comes down to is a Dallas Cowboys offense that, dare I say, is expected to be anemic at the very, very least. And if they can't score, that is a problem for them no matter who they're playing against. Because even though their defense is something to be reckoned with, even though they got shredded by the New England Patriots, it could have been much worse. I saw Hardy and Rolando McClain and those boys getting at Tom Brady. So I'm imagining what they're going to do to their exactly. NFC they East got, folks. They got Brady five sacks exactly, in the first exactly, half, right? the first half. So okay. trust you me, I know that the Dallas Cowboys defense can wreak 
some havoc, assuming that those guys stay on the squad mm -hmm. and they are healthy. My issue with them, however, is still going to be on the offensive side of the ball. Regardless of how horrific the New York Giants looked last night, I think that's an aberration. I think you can look at them and you can say they're going to be better than that performance, particularly when the Eagles come to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. I think that you look at the Redskins, regardless of their mm -hmm. record. The fact that they play hard, that they will put a hat on you, that they can play tough and run the football, although Kirk Cousins could ultimately get you in trouble, and I think he could ultimately get Jay Gruden that's fired. Yeah. That's a subject we need to visit at some point in time in the near future. I think he just like the, did. You know, I'm just telling you right <laughs> now. I, I just think it's something to think about. I still believe that the Redskins can be competitive and they can knock off or spoil two yeah. within the division, yeah. okay? I'm with so you. then when we look at the Philadelphia Eagles, certainly there's some questions about their offense, but with their defense playing better, you've got to believe that a Darren Sproles, for example, along with either a Matthews or a Murray, can do some things for you. The problem that I have with the Eagles, Skip, is that I watched Sam Bradford last night target eight different receivers. Not a single receiver had more than three receptions here's my belief i believe that when money time arrives mm -hmm. you gotta have somebody up in there that you're able to say here's the ball okay. take us to the promised uh, land mm -hmm. and I, I don't see I'm the philadelphia you. eagles having that so i don't blame now, Aguilar you wasn't, and Aguilar wasn't there, night, but, but i don't I'm think it's i'm just saying it's a, it's a defensive right. like jordan matthews i think it's premature i think he will be that but Maybe. i think i think jordan matthews has regressed a little bit this he, year he i don't not. know if that's his fault because it can't be everybody's fault it can't be demarco murray's fault and sam bradford's fault and yeah. and, and 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 jordan matthews fault mm -hmm. but not chip kelly's fault he's got something to do with what's going on in terms of the level of regression of the kicked in on the offensive side of the ball but in the end i think when we talk about the cowboys and the nfc east the dallas cowboys to me are a non-subject mm -hmm. without tony romo and des bryant back in that lineup okay well, they we have know, to have okay that. so to finish that romo won't be back until november 22nd for a fact he can't come back until then so are you saying the cowboys are done <sighs> that's a lot of games that's one, two, three, they still four. Have That's eight. four, four still, more to go before he can play. Four more to go. Yep, because they, they got Giants, Seahawks, Eagles, and at oh, Tampa Bay. Oh, I could see. Cowboys in trouble. But I'm not willing to say they're done because I can see the rest of the teams in the division beating each other. Mm -hmm. And where's the Dallas Cowboys? I can see the Dallas Cowboys three and six. After week nine, I can see the others being four and five. You know what I mean? Okay, ooh, so they, that, that, would only be, for me. that would only be like a I game. Take it. That would only be like a game. Out. So I yeah. can't say they're finished because I don't think anybody else is going to pull away by mm -hmm. leaps and bounds. Like the Steelers have to win practically every game because the Bengals are running away yeah, that's true. with the division. Yeah. Right. That's nobody in the NFC East that's going to do that. So because of that, I would have to say you're right there. I wouldn't say that the Dallas Cowboys are done because I don't think anybody else is going to pull away. But I still believe that at three and six, they could be in some trouble. And I think that's exactly what's going to end up happening to them because I don't think Matt Castle's going to win more than one game for them. Okay, so back to Molly's question. Our FBI says the Eagles are runaway favorites no, to win I the East. I disagree with that. Not, I disagree with that. They're I not think in the, control. I think the Giants and the Eagles are going to be like this for the rest of the season. It's and the up. only team with the potential to run away is Dallas if Romo comes back healthy and ready to go. Because wow. I think I think they're the only team with Romo and Dez back in the lineup together mm -hmm. with Hardy and those boys on the defensive yep. side of the ball not having to worry about facing Tom Brady yep. I believe that the Dallas Cowboys could potentially run away with the division you but do? That I do believe wow. they, I do they believe they could potentially run away with the division I, listen I picked the Eagles to win this division at the beginning of the season you did? I can't believe how their offenses looked I never. I mean their defense is a pleasant surprise but I can't believe how boy genius himself Chip Kelly has this offense looking they're so sporadic they're so in consistent they're so sloppy on, on 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 so many levels it's hard watching them based on what you anticipated they were going to bring yeah. to well, the table it keeps coming back to the quarterback's ability to play mm -hmm. consistent football I, I think they were better with nick Foles and Sam. I, 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 well, we agree there i right? do believe they were better with nick Foles, but i'm not just looking at the quarterback because i'm seeing sproles not being used effectively i'm seeing demarco murray and ryan matthews not being used effectively i'm seeing jordan matthews having regressed to some degree Everything can't be 
the player's fault. Certainly, they deserve some level of culpability, but I can't put those myriad yeah. of, of issues at the hands of just the players when the coach is supposed to be some offensive genius yeah. inserted mm -hmm. into the NFL to revolutionize the sport. Okay. I can't do it. Last quick, a couple yep. of quick points. Jordan Matthews from Vanderbilt University mm -hmm. is a great kid who has a lot of talent. I agree. Remember the big drop in the opener at Atlanta? Yes. It was late and it went right through his hands for an interception. Mm -hmm. Bradford actually threw a good ball. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not sure Jordan has quite recovered from that when you talk about his regression. So right. I thought he was going to emerge as their number one receiver and I don't know if he has. Mm -hmm. Then a quick thought about DeMarco. He did have his best night by far as an no eagle, but, but remember, the Giants were just battered and worn down at the end and he got 21 yards on his last and 22nd carry. That got him up to 109. So I'm not going to do handsprings mm -hmm. over, oh, wow, they've dis rediscovered their running game with DeMarco Murray. Let's hold the phone on that. They have a tough test this week, too. Sunday night football at Carolina. Not easy. That Sam would be, Bradford against that Panthers defense. That, that could be another big win for my Cowboys. Oh. Go Cam, go. Oh, gosh. Cam it's always go. about the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on, guys. More details have unfolded in the Louisville and Rick Pitino recruiting scandal. We'll fill you in on the other side of the break. Stay here. Yeah. The Eagles and Giants are now both 3-3, three and three, so the Cowboys are a half game behind them at 2-3, and three, and the Redskins are just one game back. Now, according to the Football Power Index, the Eagles are the favorites to win the NFC at almost 65%, followed by the Cowboys at just under 19%. Skip, has Philly now taken control of the NFC East? Absolutely not. And again, I'm coming at it from the Cowboys' perspective. That was a huge night last night for the Dallas Cowboys. Obviously, the Giants don't separate. I'm not impressed with either team. And Dallas got to put one more game in the bank because Dallas is only treading water, obviously, trying to stay afloat until A, Des Bryant gets healthy, which could happen sooner than later, and B, Tony Romo gets healthy, which is November 22nd at Miami. Mm -hmm. So I look at the Cowboys' schedule. They obviously, this Sunday, go visit those Giants, yeah. who suddenly look a little more vincible than, than they looked invincible going in. So all of a sudden, I'm thinking, I, I might have a shot on Sunday at the Giants because my team, the Cowboys, plays better on the road. Matt Castle is the new quarterback. Jerry Jones, obviously, is now driving his bandwagon after he drove Brandon Whedon's, and Jerry Jones is saying, look, Matt, I'm paraphrasing, but Jerry Jones is saying Matt Castle is a veteran who, who has had experience stepping into the pocket, stepping up in the pocket, mm -hmm. and stepping into throws and taking some chances that Brandon Whedon would never take. I'm, I'm on board with Jerry there. I think Matt Castle will be way better than Brandon Whedon was. Just stay off the Whedon mm -hmm. is my, my new motto for this show. Okay? <laughs> so I was wrong about Brandon Whedon, and maybe I'm overreacting to what Matt Castle can do, but he will give my team a little, if not a lot better, chance of winning at the Giants. Then my team come home, comes home for Seattle and the Eagles. Well, Seattle looks a little more vincible than invincible at this point. And the Eagles, as I just told you, I'm not sold on because of Sam Badford. So I'm looking at these games as, hey, maybe if, if my Cowboys could now win a couple and put mm -hmm. them in the bank, and as Dez gets held, I don't know when he's going to come back, but obviously Cowboys are going to come off a bye. Obviously, Randy Gregory, the, the kid, the, the stud rusher coming yep. off the edge, is probably going to be healthy, I'm, I'm hoping, for the Giants. And we saw what all of a sudden Greg Hardy, Rolando McClain, could do for that defense against Tom Brady in the first half. So I'm saying if my team had been healthy from the start, they would have run away with this division. That's how much better Dallas is when healthy than the Eagles, Giants, or Redskins. Way better. That's why I picked them this year to go to the Super Bowl. So I, I still like my pick. I don't love my team's chances because obviously if you take the quarterback and the best receiver in football away, it's going to be an issue. Well, How quickly will they come back? If they come back full speed and healthy and stay healthy, you're in trouble. Well, forgive me, I'm confused because I understand where you're coming from when you talk about what the Cowboys will do if they're healthy. But they're not healthy as of yet. And yet you highlight how the Eagles, even though they haven't been that impressive, because of the Dallas Cowboys injuries, the, the, the division is up for grabs. So I, I'm trying to figure out exactly what is it that you're saying. 
based on the Cowboys and how they look with their injuries. Are you saying that they're not going to do anything if Tony Romo and Dez? I'm Bryant saying off what I saw last night, even without Dez or without Romo, I like my chances way more at Giants and against Eagles at Jerry World than I did before last night's game. Last night's game showed me next to nothing about either of mm -hmm. these teams. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, my opinion is that I think you're drinking entirely too much Diet Mountain Dew mm -hmm. because whether it's I love weed, Diet Dew. <laughs> whether, wait, I love he Mountain Dew, mm -hmm. but whether it's weed then mm -hmm. or Matt Castle, in the end, what it comes down to is a Dallas Cowboys offense.